What is the Tyracusic Breast Cancer Assessment Tool? So that's the most validated, the most accepted okay. risk assessment tool that we have. And what that does is it takes into account the various risk factors, many of which we discussed, mm -hmm. um, including family history, history of a known genetic mutation, um, all the other risk factors that we talked about, and breast density. And it assess <laughs> assesses a patient's 10-year risk of developing breast cancer, as well as their lifetime risk of developing breast cancer. And is that a pretty comprehensive screening? Is that what you rely on when it comes it's to It's one of the most comprehensive tools that we have, and there are many different risk assessment <clears throat> tools. This one is really well validated in the literature, so we know that it is <clears throat> a good tool. And we use that tool as a gauge, first of all, like Dr. Motner said, to gauge who should start screening at an earlier age with mammography as well as with MRI. Absolutely. Now, so most of the women who have breast cancer don't typically have any symptoms because the biggest sign is finding a lump. But how do you decipher whether it's a lump or just fibrocystic lumps, which we were talking about, I think sometimes that happens with the dense breast. So what is a fibrocystic lump? So I see patients all the time that come in and say that they have lumpy, bumpy breasts or they have fibrocystic breast disease and they are worried about examining themselves because they say, I can never tell if this is really right. a lump or what this is. And um, it's very common for young breast patient, for young patients to have dense breasts and to have lumpy, bumpy breasts and not to be able to decipher whether there's something that's a worrisome lump or a benign lump. Um, and so I always tell patients if they feel something and they're not sure if it's normal or not to see a breast specialist. Um, sometimes even on my exam you can't tell for sure and that's why we really rely on imaging in addition to the breast exam to determine whether something is worrisome. So there may be some lumps that you look at on a mammogram and ultrasound and it's a cyst and it looks like a completely mm -hmm. benign cyst and it's not something to worry about. And then on the other hand there can be a vague nodularity that you image and it looks like a very worrisome speculated mass and so you can't rely solely on a clinical breast exam right. although it can be very helpful. We definitely rely heavily on imaging in addition to the clinical exam. Exam.